Holy sh! Dude! You should have seen it on the camera! After a failed storm chase near Goodland, Kansas on May 23rd, 2020, my attention was turned toward a large mesoscale convective system, or in other words, a linear complex of storms directly to my north. My plan was to find a nice dark place in eastern Colorado to potentially take photos of sprites over this complex. The idea is to be just far enough away to see over the top of the anvils of these storms from an area with relatively low light pollution. Even though it wasn't totally dark, reports were coming into Twitter that other storm chasers were seeing sprites. Be the right opportunity. The, you know, how often do you get an MCS like this with perfectly clear sky? Yep. See those? In disbelief, I pulled over to check them out for myself and met up with another nearby chaser interested in seeing them for the very first time. Usually sprites are quite dim, and few of them are visible to the eye, so to see them in spite of the glow of twilight meant something extraordinary must be going on. Sprites and other transient luminous events generally occur when extremely powerful cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring inside of very vigorous thunderstorms. Sprites can be described as simply as lightning discharges between Earth and the edge of space. Seeing and photographing them perfectly blends my interests in astrophotography and storm chasing. And this gives me plenty of fun ideas and tools in my toolbox to try out. For example, using an extraction technique to delete everything from the scene that isn't part of the sprite event. Here you can see the glow from the storm as it produced Omega CG, and just the sprite and nothing else. Directly above. Perfect. Yeah. All right, I've got the spot. Um, was was it still like way above? Like we've been. It was moderately above. Like. In, I would say again, halfway between the anvil top and those two stars. Oh my God, dude! Did I, did I just? I'm still recording. Those right? were up there too. They like were like way up. Way up. Okay. Way up. I had two cameras, one recording video and another taking consecutive long exposure photos. Not only can I produce a time lapse this way, I can isolate the ultra bright jellyfish sprite plainly visible to the naked eye, even in evening twilight. By taking images with the same settings over and over, I have photos of just the twilight, the air glow, and the stars from the scene. And using a photo that contains a brilliant sprite taken just seconds later, I can then subtract this other stuff from the image that contains the sprite. Sprite plus stuff minus stuff is just the sprite itself with no other distractions. Doing so reveals incredible detail and structure. This same technique works in both stills and in video. I'm working with an astronomy modified Canon T3i here, and while this older camera is pretty noisy and low light, it is also ultra sensitive to even the weakest sprite emissions. My Canon 6D, on the other hand, is totally stock, but has very low noise in low light situations. This is definitely getting closer to us, too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that, oh. Ironically, I've been looking to capture sprites for almost three years now with little success. And in just a week, I've captured nearly 100 of them. I'm learning as I go, which storms to try and work with, and how best to succeed using the gear that I have. Those were naked eye vivid. Not even, I mean, no question, clear as day sprites. Like, so bright. Wow. So I need to yeah, adjust. This is going to be my, I'm going to get obsessed with this, I can already tell. <laughs> well, I mean, it's scientifically just cool to think it's about. It's fascinating. What's causing this? Why, yeah. why does this happen? Yeah. And it's got this weird crossover between people who like chase Aurora, yeah. uh, who are interested in weather, yeah. are interested in space science. Probably get all kinds of like different, that. right. right. It, it, it's got some weird crossing. Oh, Bam! Wow. That was a that was a full on. Did you get that? Yes. Oh hell yeah. I, I hope it's in frame though. That's the Check out this video where I modified my camera for astrophotography and sprites. Or check out my storm chase footage from last week. 
I'll make more in-depth videos about sprites in the future, including some tutorials. Subscribe to this channel to see more. Thanks, and I'll see you out there.